Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, visiting Toastmasters, and honored guests. My name is Bob Boyce. I'm Vice President of the club, and I'm here to tell you this noon that I am a mess of contradiction. A light bulb sort of went off recently. I've been back home. Some of you know my mother, unfortunately, very unfortunately, very bright woman, has been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And I've had to go through 50 years of accumulated marriage and acquisitions by both her and my father. My father died seven years ago. And somewhere in the course of all of this, I came across a family tree. And I was looking across at my great-grandparents, and I realized I had four great-grandparents who came from Norway, two great-grandparents that came from Scotland, and one each from Ireland and France. Catholic? Who knew? <laughs> and I have the name, Irish name Boyce out of all of that, even though that's the smallest representation in my very Northern European background. And I thought, no wonder sometimes I just feel confused about how I'm feeling about what kinds of issues it doesn't really matter. But speaking of family trees, I'll tell you a little bit about me. I was raised in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and I don't mean to but we really didn't have trees. <laughs> we had small trees, <laughs> big bushes, but not big trees. And I looked forward every single summer to our trip to Gull Lake and Cragen's Resort, where we would be out and surrounded by trees. Because believe it or not, we did have lakes in South Dakota, but no trees. So you would look all the way around and there wouldn't be a single tree. And I loved going to Minnesota, and I settled here. And part of that is my love of trees. But now, guess what? I've been here for almost 25 years, and I go back to empty out my mother's house, and I find that I absolutely love the big sky. I look out, and for as far as I can see, hardly a single tree. If I were to keep going, there wouldn't be any. And so I thought, OK, Bob, what is it? Trees or no trees. Another thing that I'm a contradiction about is construction. My dad owned a construction company growing up. We had hard hats flying around the house. And our idea of vacation, or I should say my father's, is we would stop and we wouldn't take pictures of the scenic vistas, Mount Rushmore, big views. We would go and take pictures of curb and gutter, <laughs> ridge struts, various supporting I-beams, and so forth. And I grew up with a great appreciation for construction. And everywhere I go, I wouldn't buy a house unless I had a termite inspected, for example. And drainage, did you know that 90% of skylights have leaking water problems? Remember that? That's my piece of advice for the day. But I grew up in love with construction, but I tell you, I have to make a confession. I hate to paint or hang a picture on the wall. And I just close my eyes and do it, because the idea of somehow defacing a perfectly nice wall in order to hang a picture just really freaks me out. <laughs> and power tools, keep them away. We own one drill, and I make And finally, uh, let me tell you about my relationship to technology as I have grown up. I grew up where we had manual typewriters, telephones that didn't, were dumb, and finally, uh, copies meant another paper copy if you copied someone. And I grew up, if you called somebody and nobody was home, you had to call back. <laughs> My mother never would leave an answer on the answering machine. She was afraid. She thought it was very impersonal. So now I marvel at technology. I look 
and I send a little post on Facebook, and I have four thumbs up, including one from Pakistan, I go, I can't believe that. I marvel at the technology. But I will be honest, I am at heart still a technophobe. And yesterday, a day off from work, it took me six hours to hook up the television. <laughs> now I grew up where you plugged it in, you turned it on, and you got three channels. Yesterday, I was downloading software, it didn't work. I was on the phone to whomever, Richard, you'll appreciate that, help desk. Finally, we turned it off and turned it back on again, and guess what, it worked. <laughs> Although it wasn't helped by the fact that the only message during the installation was do not unplug your device <laughs> during installation, so I was totally afraid. So I hope through these stories I've given you a little taste of who I am and where I come from. Rob Waldo Emerson said it the best. He said, foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of slip mind. And I think I always thought that that meant we shouldn't slavishly follow all the rules. But I've kind of decided, too, that it was a statement about humanity, which is we all are a little bit inconsistent and full of contradictions. Madam President.